So tectonic plate boundaries, this is going to be the introduction of how to do this lab. So the purpose of this lab is to have you identify the three ways in which tectonic plates can interact and how these interactions explain the geologic processes of mountain building, volcanoes, deep ocean trenches, mid-ocean ridges, rift valleys, earthquakes, and sea floor spreading. So where it says we need colored pencils, you don't need colored pencils. We're actually just going to use the drawing tool over here, and you're going to need multiple different colors. Your choice, just make sure you include a key. And then the map of tectonic plates, you're just going to need to make sure that you have your earth science reference tables, like mine is actually going to be in front of me. I have one pulled up here so you know what page that you're going to use, but you do need to have this out and in front of you. So. It says using the map in figure 16.1 that shows the tectonic plates from the Earth Science Reference Table shade in the three different plate boundaries and label their names on the map provided. Use a different colored pencil for each different type of plate boundary. Create a key that shows the different color and represents each plate, each plate boundary. So what you need to do is it's sideways here. So you need to go over to the three magic bars over here in Kami. And you need to go down to rotate clockwise. If you want to, you can zoom in so that it is much closer for you to see. Because as you see, all these like gray areas all around, they're already pre-labeled for you basically. All you need to do is, what stroke thickness am I going to use? I'm going to use purple and I'm going to use a stroke thickness of six. And I want to do divergent plate boundaries first. So I'm going to go through and all of the divergent plate boundaries, I actually should make my stroke thickness a little bit thinner. So we'll do a four. Oh, that's much better. So all my plate boundaries that are divergent, I'm going to go through and label them in this purple color. I don't see anything else. I'll go through here. It goes through here and so on and so forth. And I'm going to go through and label the whole entire thing, just drawing a line over them to make sure I can see where they're at. Uh, my head's in the way, so you would be able to continue over here. Okay, so then I need to make sure I've included a key down here, text box, divergent plate boundaries. Okay. And then I would go ahead and go back and do this for the convergent plate boundaries and the transform plate boundaries. Remember the parts that are complex or uncertain, these dotted lines, you can do a separate color for them, but if you look at the arrows in your reference tables, you can actually see what direction they're pulling in. So like the East African Rift, those are pulling away like a divergent plate boundary, so I would accept it being, in this case, in my color, purple. Okay. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit and I'm going to turn the back this way because I got to go back and follow my directions. So the next thing it says, choose another colored pencil and add the arrows of movement associated with each plate boundary. So if I go back and look, I know that these are pulling apart. So I'm going to use my drawing tool. I will choose black this time. I'm going to make my stroke thickness a little bit thinner and I'm going to go through and put in all the arrows that I would see on my reference table. Like I'd be drawing in these arrows, these arrows, these arrows, pushing towards each other for the convergent and pulling away for the divergent and sliding past each other for the transform. So that's the second thing I need to do. Then I need to go back and label all of the major tectonic plates in another color on the map. So when I go back down here, if I'm going to name the North American plate, say I'm going to do it in orange, I'm going to put North American plate. Probably shouldn't choose orange because that's not showing up so well. Let's do green. There, green will work. I spelled American wrong. Don't know what I did. I'll move it so we can see it better. Okay, so that's the third step. You gotta go through and label all the major plate boundaries. Then the last step, let's see if I can do it right. Use your tectonic plates to identify the different types of plate boundaries and the specific tectonic plates that form each geologic region shown in table 16.1. So what you need to do is 
you can scroll out and scroll down here. And what you need to do is go through each one of the types of plate boundaries and label it. So the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, I know in my reference table, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, G, that's pulling away, it's divergent. So I'm going to write for Mid-Atlantic Ridge, divergent. And the tectonic plates associated with the boundary, if I look at my reference table, because I can, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge has the South American plate, the African plate, the North American plate, and the Eurasian plate. So those are all the plates that I would write here. Now, after you've done all that, now you can do all your questions. And there is no conclusion, so they don't need to be in full sentences, but they do need to be in your own words. Please do not copy and paste these questions and put them into Google and then just copy and paste the Google answer into your lab. You will have points removed from now on moving forward. Okay? If you have any questions, make sure you ask me. This lab shouldn't be too hard.